Hey, do we have any pizza left? Welcome back everyone, I'm a half-eaten pizza, and today we are on episode 4 of our Ascension on the Ark Survival Evolved game. Now, this raft probably looks a little different than last time, and you're wondering, where are we? Weren't we building the base? We will get back to that in a minute, but let's just take a look at this raft. This is how I normally build my taming pens at the beginning. It's a little bit overdone, uh, and some of it is still in wood. We don't have a dodic, so building the stone part was essential. Uh, only for the parts that are going to have dinosaurs in it. So the plan here is the dinosaurs are going to come up the ramp in front of us, fall into this pen, and as most of the ones we're going for cannot damage stone, we'll have them essentially trapped in here. Let me just jump down here quickly. And once they're in there, we will be able to freely shoot at them with tranquil du tranquilizing darts. Uh, we also have an extra ramp here for us to run up in case it doesn't go the way we want it to. But enough about this raft, and enough about how this is uh, set up. I also have a bunch of uh, a bunch of fire pits in here just to keep us warm, because we are heading up to the Arctic today. That is the plan for today's adventure. We're gonna go up. We need to find some crystal, and I know in the Arctic there's some crystal along the beaches, so we'll be looking for that, and we're gonna be looking for some decent tames. Now the reason we're going for the crystal before is we're going to need the crystal to make a spyglass and once we have the spyglass we'll be able to check out what level what dinosaurs are so we can know which ones to tame and which ones to ignore we have now arrived we are i'll show you on the map right up at the corner of the arctic here not as far as i thought we would have to go which is nice all right i'm going to park this raft right here perfect and now it it is going to be freezing and we are going to be losing health very quickly here, but it looks fairly safe for now. So, oh no, it's not. Never mind. Not safe whatsoever. That's a danger pig. <laughs> We're not, uh, hey, <laughs> well, I did not see him here. Hopefully we can bring him out into the water and drown him. If not, we'll let him just go kill the rest of the penguins. We're going to try to see. There's, there is some more crystal up on this corner here. Uh, that's the unfortunate thing up here. Pretty much everything will be able to kill us uh, and kill us with extreme proficiency. So we have, to, we have to be quick and we can't really take too many risks. So let's go. We'll, we'll be able to get it on this run here, I believe. There's some right here. And as long as nothing pops out of the shadows, we should be fine. Gather some of this. Okay, good. That mammoth came down, and he's uh, he's keeping that uh, danger pig busy. Uh, grab that. Mm. I know we are running out of food. I have some more cooking in our uh, in our little fire in there, but I want to grab some of this oil too. Oil is something that we've been a little bit short of. Oh. I heard a wolf. Uh -oh. All right, let's go. We'll get this thrown in here. Drop some of those in there. Crib, ba -ba. Put that on our inventory bar. All right, let's get ourselves into some into safety here. There you go. And grab some food. So when you're in the elements, your food and water do drain a lot faster. So make sure to plenty of that cooked up. Awesome, now that we have the crystal, we should be able to make ourselves a spyglass. Now where is the spyglass? I don't need a hundred of them, I need one. Perfect, now we have a spyglass, now it would be a lot a lot easier for us to, to check the levels on the dinosaurs that we're looking to try to get. And over here we have some mammoths. Unfortunately, I don't think we're gonna we're gonna get to a mammoth today. We don't really have a need for it, but I will try to get the prime meat off of that pig. I know it won't. Uh, you know what? No, I won't be able to make it last. It's not really worth it for the elements. So now we're gonna go. We're gonna go back around. Uh, try to find oh yeah, all the little penguins. We don't need the polymer yet, or else those penguins would would be mine. So for now, we're just looking at getting ourselves a tame. Hopefully, 
hopefully a decent team that we can take because we need to be able to have something that can go and fight around uh, the volcano as that is our next objective is volcano get some more metal going and start looking for dangerous teams I just heard a splash sound okay I am worried about the lead fixes up here uh, they're not too common but if we do find one they can destroy a raft which means we would die and we'd lose all of our all of our time and material we put into it. I have, I spent a lot of time off camera getting the resources ready for this. Uh, it'd been a lot easier if I had the Dodic and, and those teams, but that's what we're doing this for. That's what we're gonna try to complete on this mission is get a couple teams to start progressing even, f even quicker. Uh, we'll see you later on in the episode. We'll head back to base, hopefully with a nice tame, and I'll show you the progress we made there. We've got, uh, we've got a bit of farming started. We ran pipes for irrigation. We built an awkwardly tall tower to get ourselves up and down from the water. I was getting uh, harassed by alpha raptors and <laughs> and really didn't want to risk losing our stego. I'm pretty sure our stego could take it just with the knockback effect that we have. But, you know, don't want to risk it. There's not too many high levels on this map and we don't have anything really to replace it with just yet. So to be on the safe side, we built a awkwardly tall tower. Gets the job done, keeps us safe. Okay, so we will be looking for maybe a wolf, maybe get ourselves a wolf pack. Uh, also interested in an Anki or a Dodic. A Dodic would be really good. Uh, Anki, not really necessary, but we take one. I don't know if we'd be able to fit a woolly rhino in here, but high level, yeah, pretty much any high level. Ooh, oh, do we... Do we go for Uteranus first team? We might be able to do it. <laughs> I'm sure there's some people screaming at their screens right now like you are not ready for Uteranus, but if He is alone. He doesn't have his his Carnos with him This could be I wonder does the fear roar work on us? We're gonna find out. We're gonna try this. This is most likely gonna be an awful decision, but you know what? I've probably made worse decisions in my life. I'm fine with this one. <laughs> All right, there we go. We got him trapped in here. He's damaging the wood, which is fine. I don't think he can damage stone. So as long as he doesn't damage and get out of the stone, we should be able to do this. I do have two crossbows on me. Uh, so hopefully we can get him down depending how high of a level of he is. We may not be able to. But we, <laughs> we will do our best. Oh, you are scary. All right, well, the good thing about the trap is that we should be able to just keep hitting him in the head. Uh, he may destroy all of our walls. Hopefully we can get him down before that. <laughs> oh, he's running already? Is that the... Is that the Torpor run? Okay, if we can get a Uteranus going right off the beginning here, that's amazing, because the Uteranus kibble is amazing. Oh, we do have it. Okay, awesome. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I don't want to be stuck. All right. We need to get moving. We're not going to tame him here cuz this is dangerous spot. We're going to we're going to drive this and take him to safety. Yes. All right, guys. We've managed to knock ourselves out of Uranus. I'm going to drive get this thing to safety and I will bring you guys back when we are close to having the tame complete. All right, guys, there we have it. We have our Uteranus tamed up. Oh, what a mo- Okay, this is a huge progression forward for us. The Uteranus will allow us to, to start getting the eggs that we need to make the best kibble, which will make taming every other dinosaur we need to in this game super easy. Oh, this can be amazing. Okay, so let's do our normal whistles, neutral, following. Let's take a look. 
Very low stats. This is only level 8 tamed up. But it is a level 8 and a female. And that that is all you could ask for. Honestly, I was not expecting to get us a Uteranus team. The, the downside to this trap is that you have to destroy it. We don't have any walls yet, uh, any dino gate on it. But, uh... Yeah, alright. Will you follow us? There you go. Alright, I'm gonna run, I'm gonna run her back to the base. Dun da da da! Our Uteranus has made it home safely, and so have we. And I just noticed, she has this really beautiful blue and, like, blue-greeny head color and tail color. Look at that. I'll give you guys a quick tour of the house as well before we go back out on our adventure. I did run these few crops here with <laughs> a very long tunnel. Uh, I had to build another one of those towers over there to get down. I was originally going to do it over there. Didn't like it. Did it over here. Demoed that just to clean it up a little bit. I, I can't hide the pipes right now, but honestly, it's fine. We're not doing a creative, pretty build. We're, we're trying to make it efficient. Then we have our hut. We have some uh, jerky being made over here. We're just burning some wood and, and all of these just to get some more gunpowder ready. We have a table. One of these for narcotics. You know, one for uh, uh, gunpowder and the other one's for spark powder and uh, cementing paste. There you go. I'm going to drop off some of these resources that we gathered uh, while we were out there gonna reload on a few things we're gonna need uh, I guess I'll have to go gather up some more stone to make some more walls oh I saw some ramps in there but those are the S plus ramps we need the S ramps anyway I'm gonna run down to the boat down to the raft I'm gonna repair a raft and set off for another adventure I'll bring you guys back once we find another dinosaur that we deem worthy this one not quite a high enough level and we don't get the saddle until level 80 so There we go, what level? Is that the 112? Yeah, okay, perfect. Alright guys, welcome back. I've managed to capture in one of these as the level 112 Dire Wolf. There's a 64 and a 48. Uh, as you can see over here, there's a lot going on. That's why I want to live close to this region. It'd be very easy for us to find these dinosaurs. Now, the levels are not usually the greatest. Those two Rexes came out to, I believe they're a 12 and a 14 or a 12 and a 16. And... The Allosaurs that are over there are in the same. They're all under level 20. They're not worth our time. We already have one low level dinosaur, which is the Uteranus, but we do need the Uteranus to make some exceptional or superior kibble. Whatever the best kibble you can make is, that's what we're gonna use it for. So I'm I brought you guys back for this. We're gonna <laughs> We're gonna have to kill two or knock all three out, maybe just keep all three. Then I could do some breeding, breed the stats in. You'll, we'll, we'll get to that point. I'll see if I'm able to knock them out individually or if I'll have to, to put one or two down along the way. But I'm going to bring us over to a safe point again. I'm going to try to get them all knocked out and then I'll bring you guys back once we're at that point. Just wanted to add a little something here. Doing the taming like this, I, I'm trying to cut it out because it's going to be very repetitive. But I also want to show some of the process so that people don't uh so people if they're trying to do it they kind of understand these were harder to get for the first couple until the pack boost went away and then the last one was able to come down a lot easier that's why i saved the level 112 for the end the rest of the dinosaurs from here on out i will probably just do this instead of cutting uh we'll see tell me what you guys think i've done the cutouts before just cutting to when we have it but then I, I kind of like this where we're we're showing a bit more of it we'll speed it up ultimately we're in this together let me know what you guys think we're able to get all three of them knocked out tamed up and the great thing about having dire wolves is that you do not need a saddle to ride them so we're going to get them to follow this one's going to be the pack leader this is our what level is this one? This one is level 167. So, 1700 health. You know, the stats the stats are pretty good. Uh, it means we now have something we can, we can run around on pretty freely around the island. Uh, decent speed, good jumping. Uh, and one of these is a male, so we will be able to... 
Yeah, one of these is a male, so we will be able to uh, to breed them. So maybe we can do a bit of uh, breeding. I know they're not uh, dinosaurs, right? So we won't uh, have eggs, so it's a bit harder. You actually get like live births in these. But uh, yeah, we're gonna do the same thing with the Uteranus. We're gonna cut back once we get back to base. On our way back to the base, All right, guys, on our way back to the base, we started getting attacked by some Alpha Raptor, and with just our luck, there was a second Alpha Raptor with it. So we were able to get the Dire Wolves inside. They haven't been leveled yet, but I still had to deal with them because they were going to break these barricades pretty quickly. So we took our high level Stego out there, and let me tell you, that was close. Uh, we got down to. Uh, let's see, what what did we get down to? We're down to 3.6k out of 18k health. So, But we did get some good gear out of it. That's the upside. We got a pretty nice journeyman crossbow. That's going to be really helpful for taming some more stuff, some more dinosaurs. We have a shirt now. Ooh, we got a simple pistol. A pretty decent level simple pistol. That's going to be really great for us. And we got some pants. There we go. So that was actually pretty beneficial for us. We got a bunch of other resources too, just from swinging wildly. But anyway, that uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to get some dinosaurs healed up. I'm going to put some of this gear away, make some more arrows, get the traps ready, because we have more teams that we need to be doing on our next episode. But for now, from all of us to you, thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button.